to another episode of Horror at the Store. I'm your host, Katie Hettenbach. Once again, didn't stutter. Bravo. It's always a good day when you don't stutter. It's always a good day. Oh. Um, today, we have a special interview. You may recall we watched a film called Two Witches. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the stars, she's here today. Her name, Rebecca, oh my God, Kennedy, (laughs) Rebecca Kennedy, that's you. (laughs) That's me. That's you. That's me. I was going to jump in, but I was like, I think she's got it. I got it. I think she's got it. I almost stuttered, but but I was like, (gasps) but you got it. Kennedy, you did it. I'm so happy you're here. (laughs) Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be at the comedy store. How cool is this? I know. Have you been here before? I have not been inside. Oh my God. I've walked by and driven by and seen it from many miles away, but I have never been inside. So this is super cool. Well, you're actually in one of the most haunted parts because this used to be run, the comedy store used to be run by the mafia. (laughs) And this is where they would torture and murder people right in this very space. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect for talking about horror movies. I know, right? It's like (laughs) this was made for like... This podcast was made for the comedy store. Yes, it's absolutely. great. I love that. I love that history. Oh yes, it's great. And two wi- witches. Witches. Thank you. Uh huh. I got you. The, I got you all day. You're the best. <laughs> you're the best. Fantastic, terrifying, wonderful movie. Thank um, you. You're so welcome. You're <laughs> you're a delight in it. If you could say that, um, in like a really messed up way. Um, how did you start acting? And like, how did that like? From when you started to here, how did, how did that go? Uh, well, thank you, first off. And of I course. loved your review of the movie on Instagram. <laughs> um, the director, the producer, and I, we got a big kick out of <laughs> your review of it. And that <laughs> kind of, like, introduced me to you guys. Yeah. So, I'm so glad that I found you. Um, that's a great question. And I'll try to keep it short oh, no, you're and good. a very long journey. <laughs> um, but I started acting uh, when I was 12. My mm-hmm. mom, who is, uh, my parents are actually in town. So my mom's here in the Ooh, room. Oh, mom. How cool is that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and not 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 nervous at all. Um, <laughs> so she took me to see my first uh, play mm-hmm. when I was four years old, oh and I don't remember the play, and I don't remember really much about it. But I remember looking at her saying, "I want to do that." Mm-hmm. And at the time, you know, I was four, mm-hmm. so I don't know how serious you take a four-year-old. So it's yeah. kind of like okay. But then we moved on to do, do different things, and finally, I kept kind of bugging her about it. And uh, when I was twelve, I didn't make the cheerleading squad at school. Oh, geez, which okay. Was devastating oh I feel that and and you still carry that I still carry that that. you're like carry that still sad I'm still sad but however those cheerleaders are not still cheerleading that's okay yeah so there is there is that you know (laughs) but so I was really sad because all my friends were doing it and so my mom finally said okay do you want to try this acting thing that you've you know kept bugging us about so I was like yes um and in fact I think she came home and I was arguing with my dad about Mm -hmm. how I was going to quit school and be an actor and my mom was like you're absolutely not quitting school (laughs) you're not doing that (laughs) no (laughs) and you're not uh you're not gonna do that but we'll find something else so she found a children's group that was local Mm -hmm. I think we rehearsed what once a month we did a show in the summer um uh yeah, we did a musical in the summer. Pretty much anybody that wanted to uh, be in it uh, could be in it. Fun. And so, you know, you you know, you, you audition for the different parts. Yeah. But, you know, there was no, like, either you make it or you don't. Everybody was put somewhere. Mm-hmm. And they were already doing the music band. And so they would already cast. Okay. But my mom called up and they said, you know, we can fit her in, fit her in someplace. Okay. So they put me in different ensemble numbers, Fun. and my mom said she dropped me off and picked me up that day after rehearsal, and she was, you know, kind of standing where you couldn't, where she couldn't see, where I couldn't see her, mm-hmm. and she said she saw my face, and she was like, oh, this is it, this Aww. is it, and it was, and so I continued doing uh, musical theater through through junior high, through high school, I majored in uh, th- musical theater in college. And then after I graduated college, I started to kind of get into film and TV. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, here I am now, many, <laughs> many years later doing it. But that was kind of my my start um, into it was – and I don't – I'm not sure because I was four. I don't really know at the time why it was so appealing to me. Yeah. I know now why I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure back then other than the fact that it looked so much – like look just it, so much fun. It's so much fun. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. the same way. Yeah, and it's they were also having a blast up there. They, they were <laughs> playing 
pretend and i don't know if you were the kid to like put on theater productions mm-hmm. then force your parents to watch them yeah yeah so yeah same yeah, yeah. i <laughs> played teacher a lot with my dolls mm-hmm. uh, made them on a swim team and a diving team oh, wow. and i taught them <laughs> did you did you throw them into water or is it like it's <laughs> no, like it a pretend, pretend water. okay okay cool cool, cool. Um, you're you know, just drowning dolls i'm like okay mm-hmm. yeah they were the gymnastics team cool. <laughs> uh, just any anything i could do that was imaginative i was a very imaginative child and needed my own uh my own space and my own time to do that Mm -hmm. you know after school was really important to me as my mom would say that I would she would knock on the door and I would open it just a little bit and be like yes she's like what do you want (laughs) get out of here I was having my own time and playing with my own my own dolls so that's kind of the the intro into it and then I just have never stopped oh my god look at you look at you go and (laughs) (laughs) so what was the audition process for this lovely movie called Two Witches. Witches. Got it. Yo, <gasps> wow. Uh, Mic drop. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, it's never going to happen again. Um, <laughs> like, what was that like? Because your role of Masha, even though on the other, the other episode, I kept saying Marsha. That's okay. But it's, I will, I will it's, forgive you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I felt, I'm like, it's Masha. We, we literally say, I don't know, but it's, it's fine. Um, but it's, it's insane. Mm-hmm. You play an insane character, which is has to be fun. But w- what was that process like? So funnily enough, I actually didn't audition oh my formally. Okay. Um, Christina Klebe, who's also in the movie mm-hmm. and plays my roommate, Rachel. Mm-hmm. She this it was crazy. It was uh, November 2019. Mm-hmm. I was on Thanksgiving break back in Texas where I'm from. And she messaged me and she was like, we have this film we're doing called Two Witches. Um, I actually think it was called something else at the time. Uh, Blow Out the Candle, I think it was originally called. Mm. She's like, but we need to fill this this role of Masha. Can I send you the script and see if you're interested? Ooh. And I was like, yes, please send me the script. <laughs> so I read the script and I was like, uh, a witch who is badass, um, I'm in. <laughs> so I was like, yes, I'd love to be considered. And so she sent my material to the director my real you know clips and we we chatted and that was kind of he was like do you want to do it oh my god and I was like yes and we started shooting pretty much right after I got back in Mm -hmm. December so there wasn't a lot of uh prep time between but so I didn't audition in the normal normal fashion yeah um but I'm really thankful to Christina for thinking of me um, because She's I had like such a blast. This character reminds me a lot of you. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. Yeah, but. <laughs> just like I'm going to be like, thank you. I think um, I'll take it, but uh, but um, um, we might yeah. need to talk later. Yeah, why? Why it is that? Uh, yeah, a friend of mine jokes around that because he. Um, he's like, yeah, I read this. You know, he was like, oh, this production thought of me, and I read it, and it was like a crazy serial, you know, rapist dad. And you're like, thanks. Thank, yeah. Thanks you're like, that. great. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about bringing my pet rabbit. Um, and then after, you know, and then I was like, yeah, you, you, your character murders <laughs> rabbits, which was the, honestly, of all the, in the entire movie, that was the most upsetting part for me. Well, especially if you have a pet yeah, rabbit. Yeah. I was like, he's, you know. she was, what was the rabbit's name? How was the rabbit um, set? So this is the, I'm asking I'm asking the tough question. You are funnily enough. I didn't actually work with the rabbit. <gasps> that is I know. What? I'm breaking the movie magic oh here. Um, that was that was weren't my arms that hold oh my held God. the rabbit. <laughs> oh my God. So I actually never met the rabbit. Oh my God. Um, it's, Pierre, it's not even a real rabbit. It's, it's not. CGI. Yeah, wow. it was a real rabbit, but a um, good CGI. Dang. <laughs> Pierre could tell you the director could tell you the rabbit's name. I can't remember. Oh my God. Because I didn't, I, That's fair. I didn't have That's a bond. Fair. That's fair. I didn't That's bond fair. with it. That's okay. I think it would have been harder to pretend to kill it if you have that bond. Yeah. So I, maybe better I, mean, I didn't fair. actually You know what? I'm um, never so mind. all of the, the pretending to break its neck, that was all, you know, just me pretending. Okay. Um, <laughs> obviously. Wait, I mean, what? Wait, no, wait, I, wait, wait. You didn't no. murder a rabbit? <laughs> no animals were harmed <laughs> making this production. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Cool, um, cool. But I mean, as far as like <laughs> pretending, I meant pretending as in like I didn't have anything in my arms. Yeah. Okay. So. So, but um, that was, that is an upsetting setting thing. Yeah. For sure. um, um, but well, also I love like the fact that she just, like that's what she chooses. I mean, that's that's what the boyfriend, um, you know, Rachel's boyfriend calls her. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, my bunny or whatever. But I just love that. It's like, so just like out of anything you could have chosen. She's like, hey, open, open, the, open the box. <laughs> oh, it's in the box. No, don't do it. Don't open the box. And like the way she just, 
like shows up at um what's at her mom at the her roommate's mom's house yeah is just it's so funny and you're like i'm coming in and she's like <laughs> Who, okay who the hell are you <laughs> yeah like, oh no, i heard no, a no, lot I'm, about you <laughs> like no you, you clearly have it you don't know who i am <laughs> yeah like i'm the roommate and then your um your lovely walk into her office where you're just staring i literally was like oh she doing it she got go i was like go rebecca go go rebecca yeah, go she's, you're she's being creepy the uh, most awkward that was like my objective a lot of the scenes where it's like how can i make my scene partner as uncomfortable as possible you did a great job Thank you. i uh, i watched this with my roommate last night and she had never seen it before so i was just like watching her reaction and she was just like what is she doing <laughs> Why is she doing that? I'm like, I don't know. Um, but I think the greatest part, and we talked about this a little bit in person, but um, when you eat that apple, mm, but you yes. don't actually eat it. You just like shove it in your mouth like really weirdly. <laughs> yeah. It was fantastic. Thank you. I think I remember the script saying something about then she eats it like aw- like weirdly or yeah. something like that. And so it was kind of like up in- for interpretation of how I wanted mm-hmm. to uh, just kind of shove it in my face yeah. in the most um, weird uh, Snow White-ish, you know, evil queen type way. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I was like, what can I do um, as this character that is just like the most playful and weird and awkward as I can? Yeah. Um, and I love that people remember remember those things because yeah. that's, that's really cool. Um, that and then from uh, uh, part one was the, um, the when the, uh, is it, it's, Melissa. Yeah. I'm really always I'm always bad at like character names. Yeah. I'm same. like this this person. <laughs> um when she gets her stomach and she's like, Do you wanna hold the baby? <laughs> that part every time. Like I replayed that. I was cack it was just the way it was so it was so funny. Yeah. Um but yeah, like that, those she's so great in it. Dina's the actress as well is is like she's just gold. I mean, the the way that she delivered that line is just perfect. It's just brilliant. Those two moments just stick with me. <laughs> so much um but on my second watch i realized this especially your part takes place doing during the holidays christmas so technically two witches Mm -hmm. there we go god oh my god i did it again is a holiday movie yeah technically i mean that's that's i i was i'm like okay i see you guys (laughs) That, that was smart that was smart so I, I love it because it's like, you know, it obviously came out in October, mm-hmm. but we can still be pushing the the film even now because, oh, like yeah. you said, the second part takes place in the hol- during the holidays. And, you know, what better not to have to be able to celebrate Halloween and Christmas at the same time? It's Those are two of the <laughs> greatest holidays and the rest are... Or, you know, up there. They're there. <laughs> they're, you know, there. They're, they're there. They're on the list. They're not as special. But... Um, what was your favorite scene to shoot? Oh, that's great. I mean, there's so many I know. fun <laughs> scenes. Um, I think one of my favorites is definitely when I show up to her, the roommate, my roommate's mom's house mm-hmm. is one of my favorite, mostly because the the first part felt great when I was at the door. Oh, that was great. We came in um, and then we shot the inside in the you know dining room area. Mm-hmm. And on the day, I felt awful about it. I, I don't know why, like the lines, I was having trouble remembering the line, and I don't have, I have a pretty good memory, yeah. um, and I was having trouble remembering the lines, and things were just like, I felt like weren't working, mm-hmm. and just like, aw- like awkward, but not in a, oh, good way, but like, yeah. you know, this is like, the scene is just, I'm, I'm dropping the ball, I'm mm-hmm. drowning in the scene. Yeah. And so much so that afterwards, I went up to the director, and I was like, this, we, yeah. I, we can reshoot this. It's okay. And he's like, "What are you? What are you talking about? It's great." I'm like, "No, like it did not feel great." And I just bring that up as an actor because we can't always trust how we feel because sometimes things feel terrible, mm-hmm. they work great. Mm-hmm. Sometimes things feel great, and then you watch it back, and it was like that didn't land at all. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, exactly. So it's an interesting because I know Masha was also feeling at the time. Um, discombobulated and uh, and out of sorts and like doing this thing that she wasn't completely she was trying to be confident in but Mm -hmm. this is all new yeah you know this is all all new territory as well for her so you know i think it it works and it's one of my favorite scenes in the movie i think because of all of the felt the way that i felt afterwards Mm -hmm. from during it 
wasn't like, oh, yeah, I just, I killed that scene. It was like, <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Um, you know, plus we didn't have the bunny. Yeah. Um, Rachel was shot later. It's like there were so many elements that were um, not on the day. Mm-hmm. So that I, I just felt like it just like felt a mess. Oh, yeah. And so it was really fun to watch it actually come together. And and I'm sure Pierre is brilliant in editing, too, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, there's a part in the in that scene where I'm like, I have like t- tears where mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, you don't recognize when I was like, that is because as an actor, I was so frustrated. <laughs> but your, 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 your Meisner acting <laughs> yeah. was like, I got this. I got this. You're yes. like, I'm going to use it. But you yeah. know, really you're just But like, as I, Rebecca, I was like, I was literally so emotional because I could not get it right. Yeah. Oh and yeah. So that, you know, translated into the character really beautifully, mm-hmm. which is another testament to just trust yourself more. Yeah. As an actor. Oh, totally. That whatever you're totally. feeling will work. <laughs> totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. But, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. That scene also, I, the way your character just sits down and is like, so we're eating now, right? <laughs> and it's like, did you, you just walked up in there <laughs> Set my plate. Set my plate. Like, I'm ready to eat. Like, oh, we're having ham? Mm Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite. Like, I was like, what? She just sat down. I love it that she just, like, had the confidence to sit down and just, it was wonderful. It was brilliant. It's just, it was iconic. Um, So you you said your, that was a hard scene, but also still kind of your favorite. What was, like, your least favorite that you're like, this was? Like, once, once, when I filmed it, you mean? Yeah. Like, like what like was you know what not even least very like hardest or like you said that was kind of the hardest that was one of the harder ones um just any any intimate scenes are always yeah. you know awkward yeah um but jacob uh the, especially opening the movie this way jacob who was my scene partner mm-hmm. in uh, my boyfriend my one night stand as they as they called him in the mm-hmm. movie um was so great mm-hmm. and uh i actually had met him prior and on another um at a party or something. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really know him that well, but we had met. Mm-hmm. And so it wasn't like meeting someone for the first time and like now we have to have sex or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that helps that he was uh, such a generous scene partner and mm-hmm. cared a lot about the scene and about me and making sure I was comfortable. Um, and those those are probably the the one of the harder, um, not least favorite is... is yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But just harder in the sense that, um, you know, you it's, it's not a... Especially that scene in this particular movie isn't, particularly sexual in the sense yeah. that it's not like like oh that's really hot to watch it's, yeah it's, it's very like, awkward oh and, this is yeah disturbing we're yeah. seeing what this girl is right is capable getting of stuff. glimpse of of her so i wanted to make sure that that was all um coming across yeah and that it was very clear that something was wrong with her even if you weren't sure yet what mm-hmm. um so that was that was interesting um a lot of the faces those those were challenging because it was just figuring out how to make that work you your you you have so much control of your face and your i was like you like it looks like you like unhinged your i don't know if they did that with (laughs) editing or if that was you Mm -hmm. but i was like you can really like unhinge your jaw and like distort your face (laughs) in terrifying ways and i was like damn like you see this little tiny little tiny rebecca just hanging out and then you see you on screen and you're just like wow like powerhouse, <laughs> crushing it, terrifying. Thank you. Um, with your face, a beautiful face, but <laughs> on screen, you. you you know how to work it. Yeah, you know it's it's <laughs> it, it's funny because I hadn't done a role like this, and mm-hmm. so I wasn't a hundred. I mean, I had done you know quite a few horror films, but I wasn't exactly sure what my face was capable of mm-hmm. until this movie, and. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm proud to say that none of it was CGI oh, until look at you. Um, and none of it was prosthetics until the very end. Obviously, with the burn. Yes, that wasn't obviously. Yes, not my real skin. I'm so like you healed up beautifully. I know. Thanks. It thank looks God. Beautiful. Um, but that was really fun. Uh, Pierre and I figured that out on set. Mm-hmm. You know, we figured out the faces, what would work, what didn't work, in what moment, how to you know where my where my hair would fall how just I mean he's so brilliant with angles and Mm -hmm. and lighting to figure out exactly how to make it as terrifying as possible um so that that helps me because you know in in just the daylight maybe it wouldn't be as as creepy as it is when he's able to like manipulate the lighting Mm -hmm. and the the angles to make it especially Um, but I remember the first the first day the first thing we shot was the first scene Mm -hmm. and I I make a face in it and afterwards that night he went home and 
gave me some stills because I wanted, you know, to see like, look how great it looks. Mm -hmm. And I sent it to some people and they were like, oh, amazing prosthetics. It's like no, that's just my You're face. Like I'm just so good at it. <laughs> no, I'm so I'm just such <laughs> a good that, actor. Like, I'm just such a good actor. Thank <laughs> you're you. just like no, that's just my terrifying face. <laughs> it's, but you're not terrifying at all, so which makes it even better. Thank like, you. Like it's it's brilliant. Um, so about that last scene is oh yes. I don't know if you can answer this because I know it said to be continued. Mm-hmm. Which when I first saw it, I went no what (laughs) no i mean yay because sequel but no i what i need i need i need clarity clarity i need i need it to be in a bow i need some um is she alive is there a is there another there there is a sequel sequel in the works (gasps) oh so two which is two is is a foot a foot Ooh. i don't know what does that mean i don't know what that means like it's a thing it's coming it's coming it's coming it's, it's coming there's a hunt afoot there is there. A hunt, like that's what that <laughs> i think that's how that yeah it thing is goes. it is uh in the works it is in the works Ooh. The script is written Ooh. so it is now just uh you know the next the next stages of production amazing so, so you you are your character is alive it is that's and you probably can't say much no but you can say that she is alive but okay. she is alive okay. and she is especially now really coming into her own and really is very powerful now so because she is thou as they say not to give too many spoilers but if you haven't seen it yet it's okay just cover your ears during this part I yeah that's okay um, we, we, we spoil things but also we yeah. do it to be like oh i want to go see go it. watch it yeah. um yeah because she is now the new queen okay of the coven so Ooh. yeah so now you get to see that in full display which i'm really excited about oh i'm excited and to also see that. also a little nervous because now i feel like there's a lot of expectations mm-hmm. so i want to you know make sure i live up to whatever whatever that is well now you know you got to go in the mirror and practice your <laughs> facial expressions and your mom will be like what do you, why are you in the bathroom so long you'll be like what do you want mom <laughs> exactly like it's in a it'll, all, it'll it all full, ties back full, full circle. circle full circle yeah. i practice a lot of my lines in the shower okay um when i'm like for you know auditions or just when i'm filming something same, honestly that, yeah. yeah just say them out just get them out loud it's like if i can do other things while i'm saying them i know them mm-hmm. and there's many times my husband would be like who are you talking to you're like you're like nobody don't worry shut about up. It. don't, don't, don't tell it. him no don't do anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> like don't don't worry about it Shh, go 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 do something else go yeah. go go over there yeah so full <laughs> full circle i love that i love that well where can we find this lovely film called two wit wit witches, witches. We, there you go we had a we you know we had a good run of two times you're saying rocking it, without, it you're rocking it. I know. Um, <laughs> it it's a tongue twister really. it is honestly <laughs> You can find it on uh, – so Arrow Video has it uh, mm-hmm. streaming. But you, if you don't have Arrow, you can also find it on Amazon, uh, iTunes, and Apple TV. I think you can still rent it for 99 cents. So you can't really beat that. Amazing. It's a good so, film too. It's a it's, good uh, holiday. <laughs> it is. Honestly, it's a good holiday film, and it's it's wonderful. It's a good family film. Uh, show your kids, you know, <laughs> or, you know, if you want to traumatize them, do that. Uh, otherwise, don't. Um, yeah, I think it's the first – project i've done that set actually at a at christmas oh, so wow. even though we didn't film obviously christmas yeah. <laughs> but it was it was fun to um have that aspect in it as well as being a scary movie that was really fun i like that hell yeah well thank you for being here today and uh guys go check out this awesome movie and also go check out our episode and follow rebecca on instagram we will tag her below And thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. You're amazing. I'll be back anytime you want me. Always (laughs) always and forever.